हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द सेकंड लेक्चर ऑफ कोऑर्डिनेशन केमिस्ट्री दिस इज हर्षल दापने वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन मराठा विद्या प्रसारक समाज नाशिक फ्रेंड्स वी हियर वी टॉक अबाउट सम बेसिक डेफिनेशंस रिलेटेड टू द कोऑर्डिनेशन केमिस्ट्री अनदर बेसिक डेफिनेशन इज नथिंग बट से दिलेट द साइक्लिक कंपाउंड्स कंटेनिंग द पॉलीडेंटेडली एंड टिपिकली द ऑर्गेनिक वी आर बॉन्डेड टू द सेंट्रल मेटल एटम एट द टू और द मोर पॉइंट्स सो दिस इज नथिंग बट सेट विद चिलेट so we try to understand what do you mean by the chelate so we uh, we have what uh, two types of ligands so we know that what's the monodentate and the polydentate so what do you mean by the monodentate ligands so the ligands have tendency to donate only one lone pair to the metal so that will be the monodentate ligand and what is polydentate ligand they having uh, ability to donate a more than one uh, lone pair to the metal so such type of ligand so here we have what's the example so this is nothing but said to be the inorganic ligand or other organic ligand So they having what tendency to donate the four lone pair to the metal ion. So when they donate what say the four lone pair, so they can form a ring. And whenever what say uh, we got a ring, so such type of metal complexes are nothing but said to be the chelate. This process, uh, uh, in this process, the metal ion is combined with the polydentate ligand. We already seen in this uh, say the picture or diagram. So in case of the polydentate ligand, uh, we form a ring, and that complex is called as what is the chelate, and the process is set to what is the chelation. So here uh, the ligand is nothing but said to be the chelating agent, and the chelates are more stable as compared to what is the simple coordination complexes because they have what is the ring, okay, and due to the formation of that ring, so they achieve what is the more stability as compared to the simple. chelate okay so here in this slides we have to understand so what do you mean by the chelate okay and how chelate can form so chelate can form and how chelate is differ from what's the simple coordination compound so see simple coordination compounds are formed uh, by say the reaction of the metal and the monodentate ligand okay but the chelate can be formed by means of the reaction of the metal with what's the polydentate ligand so when the polydentate ligand can donate the electrons there is a formation of what's the ring okay and when there is a ring so that the uh, coordination complex is said to be the chelate okay so uh, this is nothing but said to be the formation or say the process of the formation of the chelate okay and that process is called as the chelate and chelation and the ligand is said to be the chelating agent so now we move towards what say the next slide mm, yeah this one is nothing but the central metal ion so what is central metal ion we already discussed this point in a very first slide okay so central metal ion is nothing but said to be this one so here you see this coordination complex so it is nothing but said to be the hexamine cobalt chloride okay so this is nothing but the ipc nomenclature of this complex so centrally situated this cobalt is nothing but said to be the cmi okay so we we are going to use two terms so that is what cmi and another is nothing but said to be the cma so cmi means what the central metal ion and another uh, sometimes what happen the metal will be present in the zero oxidation state means here the cobalt is present in plus 3 oxidation state but in some examples that cobalt will be present in the zero oxidation state so in such type of uh, cases what happen Uh, uh, say it will be called as what is the central metal atom why because it is a neutral uh, atom metal present uh, okay so that's what is called as what is central metal ion central metal ion or central metal atom so when we call it the central metal ion when uh, they are present in some oxidation state okay uh, positive oxidation state so that's what is called as the central metal ion if uh, uh, it it will be zero so we can call as what the central metal atom okay so this is nothing but the difference in between the cmi and cma another important uh, topic is nothing but the charge on the complex okay so uh, we have to determine the charge on the complex and we had must have to understand this concept so see here the charge on complex ion can be determined by simple the ionization method okay so we can consider what this example it is an what hexamine cobalt nickel 3 complex okay okay uh, hexamine cobalt chloride okay we can call as what cobalt chloride when we do the dissociation so here see, i will going to mention uh, one thing so see this is nothing but said to be the square bracket it is called as what say the coordination sphere okay so here we have what are two uh, two things okay so this is what say the metal okay this is what say the cobalt is what say the metal And this one is nothing but said to be the NH3. 
okay so what happen sometimes uh, some ligands or you can say that some species they are uh, present inside the coordination sphere and some they are present what say the outside the coordination sphere so those species present outside the coordination sphere they undergo what say the ionization so here we uh, seen here so when we do the ionization so we got what say this complex means what hexa amine cobalt 3 positive plus thrice cl negative so this is what ionization we got and when we take a test so here we got a test for only what cl so this is what cl so here we got a test for only cl not for what this cobalt and nh3 so this is what say the coordination uh, means compounds uh, undergo such type of ionization okay so uh, so how to determine the charge on the complex so simply when we do the ionization so whatever the charge here we got so that is what say the plus 3 so the plus 3 is nothing but the charge on the co complex ion okay means the plus 3 is the what say the total charge present or what say this complex ion so in this way just by doing the simple ionization method so here it is a nothing but say the monochloro uh, uh, penta uh, amine cobalt chloride okay this is an uh, ipc nomenclature so when you do the ionization what we got we got what this means this is what say the monochloro penta amine cobalt di positive okay and here we got what say the di uh, two molecules of the chloride so why this is so here we got what a three chloride here we got what say the uh, two chloride so here what uh, happen this cl is present inside the coordination sphere so that's why it will not undergo what say the ionization see i will explain uh, one more time uh, whatever the species present outside the coordination sphere so which one is coordination sphere this one is coordination sphere this one is what say the coordination sphere those entity present inside the coordination sphere they do not undergo ionization whatever the present outside the coordination sphere they uh, undergo the ionization so, uh, as like that okay so this is what say the case okay so this is nothing but the case another is nothing but said to be this one okay uh, means here we have only one cl so that's why it can undergo the uh, ionization sphere and he, here we got only monopositive charge so in this way we can uh, you can say that uh, we can uh, determine the charge on the complex ion so next is nothing but the oxidation state so uh, how to determine the oxidation state of the central metal ion or the central metal atom so this is what say the another thing okay important topic so here we have some examples uh, first one is nothing but said to be this one it is what tetrachloro diamine cobalt so the potassium tetrachloro diamine cobalt so this is an IUPC name of this compound so first uh, see uh, if we do the uh, ionization so okay so if we, if we do the ionization so this is what say the k di positive okay so if it is what uh, twice k positive so whatever the charge present over this complex is nothing but di negative okay so here we got what di negative so he, this is what say the simple calculation okay this is what say the simple calculation uh, for the uh, determination of the oxidation state of the central metal ion okay so this one is nothing but said to be c this one is what 2 plus uh, 2 into plus 1 so what is 2 into plus 1 see the potassium is having what the plus 1 oxidation state and they have, we have 2 so it, that's why it is 2 into plus 1 plus x x is nothing but the oxidation state of what say the metal so instead of what say the co we can take what a x plus 2 into 0 so why 2 into 0 how many nh3 we have 2 nh3 we have that's why 2 into 0 why because the nh3 is neutral they don't have a charge that's why we can return it as a 0 plus 4 4 why 4 because chloride we have what a 4 chloride each chlorine is having 1 minus charge that's why 4 uh, minus 1 and is equals to 0 okay means it is a neutral so that's why we can write down neutral so when we do what say the calculation so 2 into 1 so it should be 2 it is in 0 it is in what minus 4 so minus 4 and plus 2 so it should be what uh, minus 2 and when this minus 2 goes on this side so x is equals to what say the plus 2 so the x is nothing but plus 2 so that's why the uh, oxidation state of the cobalt is nothing but set to be the plus 2 when we uh, determined over here so here is x 4 into 0 2 into minus 2 minus 1 okay and here is nothing but set to be plus here is minus 1 so here is what say the minus 1 so when you do the calculation so 4 into 0 0 uh, 2 into minus 1 minus 2 and here is minus 1 so my, uh, minus 3 and minus 3 goes on this side so it should be plus 3 so this is what say the oxidation state of say the cobalt that is what say the plus 3 
another one is what this one we have what el metal over here so it is what uh, 3 into plus 1 okay this is x this is oxalato oxalato so uh, they having what uh, uh, bidentate ligand oxalato is what bidentate so 3 into minus 2 okay means e, one oxalato can donate uh, two negative charge that's why 3 into minus 2 so when we do the calculation here 3 here what minus 6 so what we remain 3 and minus 3 minus 3 goes on this side it should be plus 3 so the aluminium will be present in the plus 3 oxidation state in this examples we have what is the pt platinum so for that we can take what x plus 4 into 0 2 into minus 1 okay it should be what say the no2 minus 1 and this one is minus 1 so minus 1 minus 1 it should be the minus 2 okay it should be 0 and this minus 2 goes on this side it should be plus 2 so uh, here we have some corrections okay yeah yeah plus plus 2 charge we have here already so that's why this minus 2 goes on this side so it should be plus 2 plus 2 it should be what plus 4 so this is what say the oxidation state of the platinum that should be uh, plus 4 okay so this is all about what say how to determine say the oxidation state of this cmi or cma is uh, central metal ion or obviously central metal uh, atom they, they don't have what's with that okay so thank you so much